Hello.
Hey, do I know you? Mr. I believe we've met. We have? At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, I, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. Yes, my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> And even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, yeah. but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the senator... We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. We must try everything. Come along. Hello. Mr. Miller, the counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. There.
Here. Wait.
Okay, girl.
All right.
go. Yep. Come on, my girl.
There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence, or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, 
you could climb into the back of that wagon. train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. Danbury. What? Will you be quiet? Need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. One about the oil near Wapiti. Danbury. Think, man. Mine is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice boy as this. It's here! It's here! You done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. to get you.
Hey, 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 hold it right there. Weapons on the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. Just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. <laughs> I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you.
You got bad news all over you. Move it. I'm gonna enjoy robbing you, tough guy. Hand it over. You're dead! Holding out over this?
Greetings. Good to see you. Good day to you.
Don't be shy, partner. No such thing as a stranger here. <laughs> Hello, mister. Well, you look like you need to take a load off. Well, ain't this a rare treat? Why didn't you tell me we had guests coming? I'd have fixed myself up nice. Oh, now, you know you look perfect, princess. <laughs> Uh, I ain't no guest, miss. I'm just passing through. Oh, nonsense. Well, come on in. Rest a while. And we got food on the stove and a bottle of the good stuff we've been saving. It's decided then. I'm gonna go freshen up. I appreciate the offer, but I, I best be on my way. Oh, come on now. How you gonna turn down a hot meal and good company? <laughs> I'll go open that bottle. Interesting way to make yourself at home, friend. Hey, no need to get light fingered, friends. That we're already offering you a hot meal. Why not go check upstairs to see what's taking her so long, huh? Look, I'm sure she'll be down in a minute. Oh, you don't know her like I do. Married to that mirror, that one. <laughs>
sick sons of bitches. <laughs> I didn't mean to intrude, miss. <laughs> it's all right. Looking ain't a crime. You go on and have a seat at the table. I'll be dead. Oh. oh, that's a big mistake. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Don't be shy, partner. No such thing as a stranger here. You look like you need to take a load off. Well, ain't this a rare treat? Why didn't you tell me we had guests coming? I'd have fixed myself up now. Oh, now you know you look perfect, princess. <laughs> uh, I ain't no guest, miss. I'm just passing through. Oh, nonsense. Well, come on in. Rest a while. And we got food on the stove and a bottle of the good stuff we've been saving.
Don't be shy, partner. No such thing as a stranger here. Like you need to take a load off. Well, ain't this a rare treat? Why didn't you tell me we had guests coming? I'd have fixed myself up nice. Oh, now you know you look perfect, princess. <laughs> uh, I ain't no guest, miss. I'm just passing through. Oh, nonsense. Well, come on in. Rest a while. And we got food on the stove and a bottle of the good stuff we've been saving. It's decided, then. I'm gonna go freshen up. I appreciate the offer, but I, I best be on my way. Oh, come on, now. How you gonna turn down a hot meal and good company? <laughs> I'll go open that bottle. She ain't primping for hours up there. We'll never eat. Go check on her, will you? Uh, not sure why you want me to fetch your woman for you. The hunger's just getting the better of me, partner. And I figured it'd give you a chance to check out the place. Well, just go hurry her up a little. She won't listen to me. <laughs> go on, partner. She won't mind. Look, I'm sure she'll be down in a minute. Oh, you don't know her like I do. Married to that mirror, that one. <laughs> Would you just pop your head around the door? <laughs> or we won't be eating till cr- That's an interesting way to make yourself at home, friend. Bothering you like this. Just chomping at the bit, that's all. Hey, no need to get light fingered, friend. That we're already offering you a hot meal. Why not go check upstairs to see what's taking her so long, huh? upstairs. 
But you're more than welcome to take care of business first. Sons of bitches. <gasps> well, look who it is. You are hungry, ain't you? <laughs> It's all right. Looking ain't a crime. You go on and have a seat at the table. I'll be down in a minute. Aren't you a curious little boy? <gasps> hey, hey. So sorry. Slow it down there. Plenty of time for that. Down, boy. You're a feisty one. Easy. <laughs> and there was me thinking you was the bashful type. Easy there, miss. Always likes watching me get ready to She'll uh, be down in just a minute. Woohoo! That is what I like to hear. Hey, now pull up a chair, partner. One of the moments you wish could last forever. Well, like I said, uh, I can't stay for long. Then look at us, like a couple of old friends. <laughs> oh, it's a short life, but a merry one. Here we are, all the fixings. I hope you boys left some room in your trousers. Mm, my 
it smells delicious. <laughs> the food don't smell too bad, neither. Oh, stop it, you! How do you like it? Mm, it's good. Different. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That meat is so tender. Mm -hmm. You know what? This place used to be a pig farm when we was when we was kids. Yeah. Before we lost our ma and pa. Horrible business. Horrible. But we still got each other, ain't that right, honey pie? And we still know how to have a hog killing time. Here, here, that's for you. Yeah. There. Yeah. Mm. 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 Where are my manners? <laughs> Drinks. Yeah, I could definitely use a drink. <laughs> that stuff will put hair on your chest. Oh, I doubt he needs that. Let's loosen you up some more. Come on, honey. I appreciate the hospitality, folks, but I best be on my way. No, already? I thought we was gonna have some fun together. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, Princess? I told you he'd be back. Come on, pull up a chair, partner. Okay, there's welcoming, and then there's whatever you two are. Love thy neighbor as thyself, partner. Oh, he's just a boring old stick in the mud. Ah, what the hell? Ah! <sighs> <sighs> oh, about time! I take whatever cat she has on her and put it behind Mama.
If he needs more cream. Guess you came here hungry for something else. It was my mother's recipe. All right. Make sure you get it. Oh, you're a fussy one, aren't you? Oh, well. Your loss. Excuse me. I told him he'd be back before long. on your sails. Look who's here. I figured I'd check in on you while I was passing through. Right the pass down, it starts to heal. That's, that's what they say. It was the only... I couldn't pass on a free ticket to the freak show. <laughs> Takes one to know one. <laughs> chore after chore. Interminable squealing. That look. Ma. Judging us. You ain't exactly subtle with your courtship, are you? Chop. Chop.
Let's go, girl. Stay away. Ma. Oh, and Pa, oh, you brought this on yourselves. Look who's here. No harm done. Right the pass down, it starts to heal. It's, it's what they say. It was the only way we'd all have. Peace. Oh, we kept telling you. Leave us alone. 
<laughs> Wish we uh, could. Hey there.
Good. You're damn lucky I have this. I can't believe I don't carry this with me. Oh, I owe you so much, mister. I can't believe you saved my life twice. Me neither. Well, I best be getting back to town. Stiff one tonight. <sighs> That's it. You ain't getting another out. Come on, my girl. Yeah.
Yes? Uh, I'm, uh, uh, sorry. I'm looking for, uh, the mayor. Yes, please. Mr. Kilgore, or what was it? Um, I forget. Quite. Welcome to government. Democracy. An interesting idea. Monsieur Lemieux? Come in. Oh, hello, friend. Hello. Tacitus this Kilgore. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rob me again, are you? No. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people want to speak to you, Mr. Tacitus. I know. They won't hear anything about you from me. But? <laughs> yeah, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous, killing? Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. <laughs> and how do you buy art? I don't know. I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Ouch. Ouch indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference. And I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. So? So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, to meet a little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. Saint-Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Bonne chance. Come, sir, if you don't mind. The gallery is just at the end of the sap. As I said, he is a beastly man, this professor. Believe me, friend, you ain't seen beastly yet. Now you are close. You know, I thought we French had a monopoly on arrogance, but no. An overeducated American can be far, far worse. Well, luckily, there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. Yes, indeed. The mayor had such grand plans for our city and its people. We shall have truly broad democracy, working for the rich and the poor alike. It would be a travesty for this one man's opinion. <laughs> Put that into jeopardy. Opinions can change. Can they not? Oh, they change all the time. Of course. The power of reason is not to be underestimated. Reason. 
Well, that's one word for it. Good, good. You do not look so much like a rhetorician, but um, Monsieur Lemieux has placed his faith in you. Go to the right up here. The gallery is just up ahead. There, Mr. Arthur, there! No. What's his name again? Professor Shiftaker. Is in there. The mayor knows very well what I found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> that's a big claim. One that's gonna upset a lot of people. Myself included. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. Now I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. I see it's gonna take a fist in your face to persuade you. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait. Change your mind. Uh, I couldn't. My reputation. Uh. How about your reputation now? I, I'd never be published again. Reputation is really far less important than a broken nose. Yes, sir. I, 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 I see that now. The thing is, now people are going to look at those paintings and love them. So you're helping people, really. I, I, you know I'm right, Professor. Please not get me upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you're going to send the mayor what he needs. Uh, because otherwise, I'll be in New Haven. No, no. We don't want that. Of course we don't. I'll write my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. Pains were real after all. Oh. Problem solved. Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Sure. Was uh, Professor Shiftaker happy to change his mind? He wasn't initially, but uh, he came around in the end. Oh, my lord. This is not right. Trust me, I've done much worse. We shall burn in hell for this. Here's open. Here. The mayor asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you.
wish whiskey grew on trees. to see you back, sir. Do you need any assistance? I can see you look after your firearm. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? That's more like it. You got no regrets with that decision. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I could add some rifling into that barrel if you want. Makes it much more accurate. You'll notice the quality of the workmanship. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best. I can see you look after your firearm. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? I'll give you a real edge. You will feel the difference right away. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best. You got no regrets with that decision.
Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? That's great. I can see you look after your firearm. Did you know a rifle barrel adds noticeable accuracy? We can do that to this model for a great price. You'll notice the quality of the workmanship. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best. I can see you look after your firearm. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best. You will feel the difference right away. I can see you look after your firearm. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? This place sure gets me down sometimes. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I've got some better stocks that would fit that gun. Can add to stability. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. I could fit some different stocks for you. Could make it more comfortable on the shoulder. I can see you look after your firearm. I've got some better stocks that would fit that gun. Can add to stability. I heard that outlaw was screaming and hollering for the priest when he strung him up. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? I could fit some different stocks for you. Could make it more comfortable on the shoulder. Another long day of relaxation. 
Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. I've got some better stocks that would fit that gun. Can add to stability. That'll give you a real edge. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. We do a range of excellent sights for that gun. They can really make the difference. You got no regrets with that decision. I can see you look after your firearm. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I could add some rifling into that barrel if you want. Makes it much more accurate. Did you know a rifle barrel adds noticeable accuracy? We can do that to this model for a great price. I can see you look after your firearm. I could fit some different stocks of you. Could make it more comfortable on the shoulder. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? You don't mess around. Excellent choice.
Oh, plenty more on offer. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I can give you some better options for the sites. You will feel the difference right away. I can see you look after your firearm. We do a range of excellent sights for that gun. They can really make the difference. That'll give you a real edge. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I could add some rifling into that barrel if you want. Makes it much more accurate. You got no regrets with that decision.
Okay, girl. Anything you can spare for a blind man? Oh, <laughs> thank you, sir. Uh, truly, thank you. It means a lot to me. Okay there? Ah. Uh. Hello, mister. Hello. There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. For well, days in this place you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money. But for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are going to 
don't rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, God, just want hell. money. Cool it down, Don't right? make us kill you. Mr. M, please. Mm. Right, folks, Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one. Die. Okay then, partner. Cool it down, all right? Kindly open that gate and let my acquaintance inside. I said open the gate. That is not what we do, damn it. You know that. <laughs> Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Mr. M. Now don't make these any dumb moves. folks are their valuables. Mr. M. Get that room back there. Crazy. I... Hey, that is not what we do, damn it. You know that. <laughs> Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Mr. M, leave these fine folks or their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this room. Dying. Yeah, they're good. It's your choice. Not face. mine. Kindly open that gate. My acquaintance. Let's see about this. Go easy. I'll shake me. Open the gate. What was that for? Let my acquaintance. Yes. Of course. You want me to frisk him? Or you got this? This what you want? God damn it! Mercy, what are you please! Doing? Come on. These folks must have some moment. People get back to their lives. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Yeah. Open it! Hey! That is not what we do, damn it! You know that! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now! We got you surrounded! That's greasy son of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are you gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trial. The trial! Follow me, gentlemen! Go! Woo! Now! Go! Does this trial go to Tahiti? Get up on that balcony! Some coming on this side! Art! Oh, 
nothing moves. You don't know who you're dealing with. God damn! God damn!
Just get us out of here. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, it's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't miss me. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got... $15. Oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that! Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, you can't win them all.
No promised land. No heaven on earth. No man unleashed. Arthur, come up here. No pure land or none of that stuff Dutch spouts. Again? That's enough for one day. <clears throat> uh, uh, on this beautiful night, will you dance with me, Miss Mary Beth? No, I will not. You're... I got two left feet. I'm not a monster, miss. No, of course you're not. You're not that interesting. Very funny.